Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the Northern Colorado Bears traveling to take on the Idaho State Bengals. Both squads are 1-5 and five on the season. The Bengals are on a three-game losing streak. The Bears are on a two-game losing streak. Last week, the Northern Colorado Bears lost to the UC Davis Aggies 35-14 in a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. And that game wasn't really even close. There was too many turnovers by the Bears. And they really have just struggled against better competition this season. Although, they almost beat Eastern Washington in a classic matchup that they lost on the last second to a kick return for a touchdown as time expired. So, the Bears, they could be 2-4 and four right now. But I'm expecting them to come out here and win this ball game. I'm predicting a 31-27 win for the Bears. I think they have too much talent on the offensive side of the ball to not put up a lot of points. And I think they'll do just that today against the Bengals. But first, Sebastian Hernandez needs to be suspended for an uh, academic infraction. Study Hall report shows that Hernandez is well below the amount of time. Who cares, it's Study Hall. But in order to keep the NCAA team interest down, we suspend him for two games. And that is unfortunate, but there's still two other offensive linemen for the Bears, Will Jefferson and Mike Heath. This game is not televised because of the poor records for both squads. So we're going to get right into the action. Here's Darrell Stats on the option. And he'll pick up 16 yards and a first down for the Bears. And they'll go right back to Stats here. He's going to throw it. Play action. Smokey Callahan open. Breaks the tackle. An arm tackle attempt. And Callahan is off to the races. And he's got his second touchdown reception of the season. And that's a big one. He came into the game with 10 catches for 226 yards and one touchdown. Darrell Stats has struggled so far this season throwing the football, only having 669 yards and three touchdowns. Now four touchdowns and six interceptions on the season. He also has 425 rushing yards and five scores. Now the Bengals, they go three and out on their first drive, so the Bears take back over again. Tavares wide open. And the halfback gets it up to the 45-yard line. And that was actually, that'll actually get him over 100 yards receiving for the season. And they'll pitch it out to Tavares. What a spin move on the option. And he'll get up to the 26-yard line. That was a fantastic move. Option pass from Stats. Deep shot. Bresnagale at the 1-yard line. So close. And that young man has yet to have a touchdown reception this season. Throw Stats punches it in on the quarterback. Sneak. And that is his sixth touchdown run on the season. Bengals back on offense. They try a draw play here on third down, and that does not work. So they're going to have to punt the football away on fourth and six. Here's Darius Mitchell from his own 25-yard line. And he's going to use that speed to get to the outside along the sideline, tiptoeing. And Darius Mitchell is going to take it the distance. That is his second punt return for a touchdown this season. And a great play by the sophomore halfback. And he is an electric player. He has 625 yards rushing on the season with six touchdowns. But he has fumbled the ball four times. And there's an interception from McGee. And a face mask at the end of the return. Darius Mitchell also has zero catches coming into this game, which is a crazy stat. Here's Smokey Callahan inside the 10 down to the one-yard line. Almost has his second touchdown of the game. He's got 89 yards receiving already. And here's Eric Tavares punching it in for his sixth touchdown rush of the year. Now the Bears are without Gavin Brady, their fullback. He's suspended for three more games, so they're going to have to rely on their two halfback system. And here's a great toss out to McCoy on the sideline for the first down for the Bengals. But yet again, third down and long. Third and 14. And Bully Cooper with a monstrous hit on the receiver coming across the middle. That receiver didn't stand a chance. He never saw him. Get out the chalk, folks. Put an outline around his body. Darrell Stats on the option. Spins, gets to the outside. Tries to spin again, but he picks up the first down. He's got 30 yards rushing today. And that gets him up to 450 on the season. Here's Darius Mitchell, one man to beat. Shoestring tackle. And Mitchell falls to the ground. Second and 10. Eric Tavares playing some fullback right now. Spins out the safety and gets it up to the 30-yard line. Nice 20-plus yard run for him. Tavares over to the right side, but Bresnagel is open instead over the middle. Fullback was wide open on that play. Stats 
Taking a deep shot to the back corner of the end zone. Bresnagel has it for his first touchdown, but there's a flag. Oh, man, he has his first touchdown, and they just rip it out of his hands. First and 20. Stats. Tavares. Spin move. First career receiving touchdown for Eric Tavares. And he gets one before Howard Bresnagel does. And look at that scoreboard, folks. It's 35-0 here in the second quarter. Bears are pouring it on. And Bully Cooper gets an interception. That was thrown right to him. And he'll return it up to the 38-yard line. That's his second pick on the season. He also had 35 tackles, two for loss, 10 pass deflections, two forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery on this season. Fourth and 16, though, for the Bears. Throughout stats, he's going to take off, and he's going to pick up this first down. There was nobody on the right side of the field. Great awareness by the quarterback. Toss out to Tavares. He's going to use his speed, and he is in for another touchdown. That's his third touchdown of the game, second rushing. He also has a receiving touchdown. Well, that makes it seven touchdown runs this year. And on the ensuing kickoff, I think we all know what's about to happen here. Barr kicks it deep. To the goal line is Jackson. Justin Jackson, the halfback. He's going to break a tackle. Hurdles. Gets to the outside. And only one man to beat, and it looks like Goolsby got clipped on the play, but they're not going to call it. So Idaho State gets on the scoreboard. Best play of the game for them. 101-yard touchdown return off the kickoff. And on the ensuing kickoff, after that kickoff, back deep to return. Mitchell from the goal line. He's going to go left side. He's got Eric Tavares in front of him, and he outruns his, <laughs> his halfback counterpart. And he's going to have his first career kick return for a touchdown, showboating for about 25 yards. The disrespect. Back-to-back -back kick returns for touchdowns. And the Bengals go three and out on their next drive. So here's Darrell Stats slinging it again. Smokey Callahan wide open, gets a block, and outraces the entire defense for another UNC touchdown. 54-yard touchdown reception for the big tight end. But we're not done yet, folks. 20 seconds remain here in the first half. Here's Bullock. Up to the 44-yard line. One of the best plays of the day for the offense for the Bengals. And Bennett over the middle. Schultz, he's wide open. Gets destroyed by Deacon Cooper, who came into this game with 25 tackles. One for a loss, one pick. Six deflections, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. And the Bengals get on the board again here before the half. 56-10. to 10. There's enough time for one more play. And here's Howard Bresnagel from the five-yard line. He's going to go up the right sideline. He's got blocking. Smokey Callahan out there, lead blocking, and he seals the edge, and Bresnagale is to the house. Touchdown, Bears. But again, a Howard Bresnagale touchdown gets called back today. It's the second time. That would have been his first ever touchdown. I guess the Bears just don't want him to score. 378 yards of offense for the Bears in the first half, 94 for the Bengals, and they're going to come out with a draw play, and Jones picks up close to the first down marker, maybe nine-yard gain, third and one. Jackson, outside, breaks a tackle, picks up the first down. And they have a great drive here, but it's called back on a holding penalty. That'll make it third and 11. That is not good for the Bengals, and they do not pick up the first down. So the Bears will get the ball on offense again. Back deep to return, Darius Mitchell from the 31-yard line. He's going to go left side, and he's got the speed, outraces everybody, tiptoeing on the sideline, almost steps out of bounds, and he's going to score. Another return for a touchdown for Darius Mitchell. And that is his third on the season. And that's his second punt return for a touchdown on the year. Stats, deep shot, Smokey Callahan, double coverage, not a good throw. That's picked off by Cohen. First mistake of the day for the Bears. And this game is pretty much out of reach for the Bengals, but they can still get some work in for their younger guys here. Starting off at their own 25-yard line. Bennett picked off immediately. That's Bully Cooper, and he's going to have his first career pick six. So the teams trade interceptions. But Bully, he saw that end zone, and he was not going to be denied. 70-10. to 10. Robinson, the backup quarterback now in the game. He's throwing it deep, and Cole has it, and he's going to score. Just outracing the cornerback. You guys have to remember that the Bears only have two subscriber players on defense, and that is the Cooper Twins at the safety spots. Stats. Rolling out. Throws it up. Tavares has it. First down and more at the 44-yard line. 19 first downs today for the Bears. Definitely the best game they've played all season. 
And Stats slinging it. Smith wide open. Tries to spin. Taken down at the 31-yard line. Stats closing in on 1,000 yards passing this season. Mitchell, nice stiff arm after a spin move. He'll pick up 19 yards. Stats under center. Option. He's going to take it up the middle. Will Jefferson out there lead blocking. And that is a touchdown for Darrell Stats. And they just keep pouring it on. They're up by 60 points. Robinson tries the quarterback draw. Eric Tavares playing some linebacker. Gets a tackle for a loss. Robinson sacked. Right outside linebacker. Came through untouched on the blitz. That'll make it fourth and 15. The Bears take it on offense again. Stats on the option in the, in the secondary. Jukes and gets up to the 45-yard line. He's so dangerous when he gets in the open field. Tavares was wide open on the right, but Bresnigale's open on the left. A man dives, misses. Bresnigale jukes in the open field. And he finally has his first career touchdown. And it's a nice 49-yard touchdown reception. And that will make the Bears up 84-17 to over the Idaho State Bengals. And that was all Howard Bresnigale right there. 49 yards after the catch. Fantastic play by the freshman wide receiver. Quarterback trusts him to make a play, and he definitely does. And what a great way for him to get his first career touchdown, doing all the work himself. 84-17, the Bears going to kick it off again. This time they're going to kick it away from Justin Jackson. And this is Powers, the slot receiver. He's going to go right side. Jukes gets to the outside, and Barr gets hit in the back again, but they still don't call it, and Powers is gone. Special teams have been... Piss poor to say the least in this dynasty. The only team I think that hasn't allowed a kick return for a touchdown was UC Davis, I think. There's just been so many. Maybe Savannah State and Bryant. I'm not even sure. 87-24, to 24, the Bears did kick a field goal there. And there's a nice diving interception by McGee. Tips it to himself. And the Bears are going to run the clock out here with a minute to go. And that is just an awful throw. Why would you throw that? You're rolling out right. You're going to spin, throw it off your back foot, across your body, across the field. Darius Mitchell, player of the game, by the way. And Justin Jackson. But not a good throw by Robinson at the end of the game. 87-24 is the final. Head coach Michael Topps with an explosive victory here in the Pac-10. And the Bengals really did not stand a chance at all today. The Bears were off to a hot start. They had the momentum pretty much from the opening kickoff and they just rolled with it Smokey Callahan great day for him Darrell Stats amazing game Darius Mitchell the entire team just from top to bottom played fantastic just a well-rounded complete game only one turnover that was that deep pass into double coverage 912 total yards today for the Bears and they put up 56 points there in the first half the game was over in the first quarter, basically. Darrell Stats, 11 of 19, 331 yards, four touchdowns. Career day for Mr. Darrell Stats. Only sacked one time along with 61. Stats also had 82 yards rushing with two touchdowns. So six total touchdowns for Darrell Stats. And we might see him in the award finalist watch in a couple weeks here for best quarterback. With just because of that performance alone, I think that'll definitely put him on the list. Our Bresnigale finally gets in the end zone. Eric Tavares has a receiving touchdown for the first time in his career. Smokey Callahan, two touchdowns, zero drops for the team today. Greg Adams, 21 pancakes. Mike Heath with nine. Will Jefferson with eight. Mike Heath allowed the only sack today. Smokey Callahan also had four pancakes. Darrell Stats had a pancake. Amazing. I love when quarterbacks get pancakes. They're hungry. Tavares had four tackles on defense as well as a tackle for a loss. Eric McGee, two picks, the star cornerback. Although he did get torched on that deep touchdown pass from Robinson. Cooper Brothers didn't really do a whole lot today. Bully had that interception. Deacon had, what, maybe one or two tackles. Nothing crazy. Bunch of deflections. Idaho State was just chucking it. Chuck and pray. That's, that was their offense in the second half. Holy Cooper, of course, the touchdown. David Barr, one of one field goals. Darius Mitchell, a kick return for a touchdown along of 100 yards. Resnigale had one called back. Darius Mitchell also had two punt returns for touchdowns. So three returns for touchdowns in one game. Darius Mitchell, you are ridiculous. 
Those are the players of the game right there. A bunch of special teamers, basically, for the Bengals. In our next Northern Colorado Bear game, they will be traveling to take on the Sacramento State Hornets in a Week 9 matchup. That should be a good one. Our next game that will be out tomorrow will be the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions traveling to the Jacksonville Dolphins. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.